Hello, welcome to lesson 8, Program Control Statements in C-Sharp, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Arish. In the last session, we learned the if statement and right now, we will explore the second one, that is switch. To understand switch in depth, we will move to a slide where switch is explained, switch statement. Switch, switch statement provides you a multi-way branching and instead of using multiple else if statements, you can go with switch statement. And the working of switch is explained here. Before learning the working of switch, we'll see the general form of switch statement. Here is the general form of switch statement, switch and the expression is passed to the switch and rank multiple cases here and the default one also. Coming back to slide, the value of an expression is successfully tested against list of constant. It means that the value of this expression is tested among the const1, const2 and const3 if any matching is found, the respective case will be executed. If not, the default one will be executed. When the match is found, the statement sequence associated with that match is executed. As explained early, the similar thing will happen. If the value of the expression is matched with the, if the value of the expression is matched with the any constant, then particular and it means that in that particular that case statement will be executed otherwise the default will be called and that statement will be executed the switch expression must be of an integer type such as char byte short int or of an enumeration type or of string we'll learn in next uh, in, in the coming sessions what is enumeration type and string floating point expressions are not allowed in the switch statement it means that this expression should be of a type integer uh, char byte short int etc remember floating point expressions are not allowed the expression controlling the switch is simply a variable it means that the expression you see in the switch statement is simply a variable the default sequence is executed if no case constant matches the expression the default is optional if it is not present, no action takes place if all the matches fail. It means that we will pass the expression here and if the value of the expression fails to match the constants const1, const2 and const3 then the default one will be executed and the default one is optional. If you don't provide the default one, nothing will be executed. Okay. To understand switch statement in depth, we will fire up the Visual Studio and here is the code which I explained in the last video it tells us the usage of else if statement switch statement tells us instead of using multiple else if statement we can go with the switch now now we'll just erase this else, else if and we'll use the switch statement how to use the switch statement just switch and pass that variable user enter number you pass this as I said earlier in the slide in the presentation here the expression controlling the switch is simply a variable therefore for the switch for this expression I am passing a variable user enter number now here I will write the case if it is unread We'll jump back into presentation and we'll see the general form. Here we'll come back. So sorry, the ent enter number is unread. And you can give a break. Done. Similarly if if you enter a number other than 100 like I'll enter 200 300 the particular case will be called I'll change the numbers for this the constants 300 and simultaneously I want to change here also and now 
if the user entered number does not match with all this 100 200 300 default value should be called so default console dot right line user sorry user number did not match now I would like to explain the code what I have written now the first line just prints telling that for user please enter a number once the user enters the number like 100 what will happen the number what what is entered by the user that is 100 will come into switch expression here it's nothing but a variable having the value 100 will be here and it this 100 will uh, will check with the each case where 100 is present and in the first case only 100 is present so that it will execute this statement and it will jump to next statement that is break once it reaches the break it will come out of it and it will it come out of the loop then it will print enter number is 100 now to understand that we will run this program the build has start, succeeded and it's asking us to enter a number such that first we will enter 100 to see that the switch is working yes the switch is working how this happened is once I entered 100 that value will be stored in the user entered number then I'm using the switch case to evaluate in the switch case I'm calling the user entered variable and which is having a value 100 and that 100 will evaluate among all the cases once the match is found that this 100 finds a match with the any of the cases which is having 100 then that particular statement will be executed and it will hit the break line and it will hit the break and it will come out of the loop what is break we will see in the upcoming sessions thank you please subscribe to anchor training below have a great day